the iPad, there's a couple of email programs that you can interact with, so you can pull the iPad to the sitting area and draw and or create music. As you come into the piece, the, uh, the whole installation is called Shifting Time. What I'm trying to address here is that from time immemorial, thinkers, uh, whether they're artists or philosophers, frequently have looked, at, looked to water in its reflective form to uh, get ideas. There's something about the um, alpha state that the uh, wiggly shapes of water can shift the mind into a very, very relaxed state which can frequently bring ideas to the surface. So this wall, which is the industrial wall, was about tying in the above and the below through water. So I've got time-lapse clouds that I've sped up to 2,000 times, or water reflections that I've slowed down to 20 10% of its normal speed, both to give us time to see the development, but to become fluid with the water. And the processing unit is the human mind, which is receiving. So the idea was to uh, go from the time of industry when water was the, the thing that drove all these things to connect with the water source there. We come to these uh, items here in, inside this box is the industry. So this is, um, it's an old fan housing from a farm. I got it from the junkyards that's in the very back of my property. There's an old farm junkyard there. And uh, in it I've treated old footage that um, early Edison footage of the Westinghouse Millwright factories. So they're building giant uh, turbine units for dams and uh, motors, all kinds of things. And I've sepia toned it and slowed it down so that it functions as a still artistic image. But should you choose, if you're here watching, you could be lost in it for a half hour and just brought right into that. Again, more steampunk uh, elements. I did a number of different assemblage boxes for this piece. Uh, this one is how the project sort of started. So just when I was starting to conceive of the murals and the ideas, I assembled this. Uh, a lot of clock parts and gears, playing around with different uh, shapes. Uh, now this, the, um, the client, Doug, Doug Souls, um, built this company, but what he used to do is he used to finish pianos. So this was one of the final pianos, I believe, that he, he did, and it's always been a little emblem that he had. And when he first came to me to come up with an idea for this, he said, I've got this baby grand, and I wouldn't mind it feeling comfortable. So originally, I was just going to do this little tucked in area back here. You can see there's a number of stringed instruments to echo the fine craftsmanship of the piano itself. So, so we've left the industry wall. Now in the music wall, I'm using Brian Eno's 77 million paintings. Um, I have one of the monitors uh, shifted 180 degrees, and uh, so it, it just flanks another installation that's illuminated of stringed instruments. Um, if you were to look at this perpetually for 30 years, you'd never see the exact same moment. You see similar motifs, and there's certain things that come back, but it's designed so that uh, it endlessly regenerates. Um, now that one is a, that mural uh, across the way, so you can pan over there, is an enlargement from an eight foot painting, whereas this mural wrapping around this is the actual canvas wrapped right onto the wall. So this painting was 18 feet by 12 feet uh, when I did it on the floor of the gallery. And if you look closely, you can see some of the textures. It's very very textural and tactile. I wanted it to, to feel like that. And in a sense, it gives it, it gives the other wall uh, legitimacy. It, it, the other wall looks original, even though it's a, a mural. Um, in the center here, it, as you watch it, it just cycles through many different colors. There's a, a curved panel back there with a painting on it. And as you can see, the LED lights just generate through different... It's on a real fast program now. I, I should try to slow that down, but um, it's Muse. So the idea for this is that where does uh, creative ideas come from? I'm suggesting they come from a place of reflection, of looking at water, or of, of, of freeing the mind to uh, allow it to channel. And at the same time, even when you access Muse, you never have it fully. So that's why I've 
put it in behind there so we don't see it all, but as you look closer, you, more is revealed, much like views. Um, there's a 21-stringed uh, Chang, a Chinese zither instrument. I picked this up in Shanghai in 1992, and uh, I've played it for years, but I, I really felt that it was great to uh, put it in. So these are other instruments that I've just collected uh, over the years and wanted to integrate and include into this, this lobby. So as you look down, the idea is to sort of, um, if someone comes in and they've got a meeting, is put them into a place where, at least momentarily, um, new ideas can come fresh. Because the idea is they leave here, they go into the boardroom, and perhaps they're talking about you know the stores of the future. And uh, I'm hoping that this just drops the seed towards the kind of creativity and artistic kind of things that can be included when designing space. Um, yeah, so this is just about uh, one of the biggest in square footage that I've done as a single project.